morning guys welcome to another week in my life vlog I just had avocado toast i feel like there's stuff all over my face i'm currently journaling right now i'm using the oswell deck it gives you a little prompts which i love i'm gonna do two today first one is what kind of person do you want to be today and the second one is go to the mirror what does the person you see there have to say i'm drinking my iced coffee i just i love that fitz is just getting the shot this week is gonna be good so I made out goals for my week again. The first one is get movement daily, workout daily. Um, and I want to do 12, 3, 30 twice. I want to add back in like a little bit of cardio because I've been doing a ton of Pilates. I'm going to start going back to class studios and going to their spin classes. I'm not like the biggest spin person in the world, but I actually really do like class studios. I like SoulCycle a lot. Um, and class studios is the only studio I've ever been to where I've been like, yeah, I like that spin class. Like as much if not better um i want to journal 20 minutes a day i want to finish two books um i w i stayed up last night reading i read like half of a book um and i want to wake up at 7 a.m every morning because i think a lot of my issue has just been waking up early guys i don't know if it's just the winter or what but like it is so difficult for me to wake up really right now so so if you're new here be sure to subscribe hopefully this video is long and what you guys have wanted subscribe follow me on instagram check out the podcast i just uploaded an episode um, last week titled and I quote my breakup was the best thing that ever happened to me in living your best single life in your 20s And then we just shared one with Victoria Garrick who I love I'm listening to her right now and it's gonna be confidential, but she is a star I absolutely adore her sweetest person ever Anyways, we uploaded that episode as well and I think you guys will really like it You guys can also last thing I'm gonna say you can also watch all the episodes on YouTube So once you're done with this vlog um, it'll be linked in the description and you guys can watch like every podcast episode for the past few months on YouTube as well if you'd rather watch them. So that's it. Okay. Off to do 12 through 30. It's actually freezing in here. I just turned the heat on and the fan just turned on itself. Oh, I'm reading the book Obsessed. I always like to read a nonfiction book in the mornings. It's really good. It's on branding. Obviously, I'm starting a brand um, in the next few months. Well, it's already started, but we're launching in the next few months. So it's just been like a really good, interesting read. It's basically about like kind of cult mentality behind brands in my eyes. It's called Obsessed. Um, anyways, I'm finishing my coffee and then we're off to do 12 3 30. All right, I did 12 3 30. Struggled through it. It was my first day back in a long time. If you haven't done it before, it's actually really difficult. This set is from Set. I don't ever know what materials I'm wearing or what line it's from or anything, so I'm sorry. I'm trying to be better about that, but. I really like it, even with this top. I get asked about what sports bras I wear, having a bigger chest, working out. Um, this is obviously not the most ideal. It's definitely not ideal for Pilates when I'm wearing it anyways. I honestly just like don't care. Unless I'm running, in which case like it has to be the perfect cut. There's a lot that I can't wear. Basically I'll wear like a V cut, but mainly I like like box cut sports bras. Nike actually has a lot of really good ones. This top is like not the most coverage, but it's also not like the worst thing that's ever happened. So anyways, I'm actually going to record my intro, my outros, my ads, and then send in the episode detail for this week with Victoria Garrick right now. So a little fitness update, Pilates, obviously hot Pilates on the mat is my favorite workout. It's also like the most sculpting for me. I've just been doing it for so long that I felt like I needed to add in more cardio. I'm actually looking into getting like a personal trainer that I can start like lifting weights with like twice a week maybe. I feel like that would be really good for me. Um, and then I just wanna make sure I'm doing like 12, 3.30 or walking at least. So I feel like I'm gonna start splitting between Pilates, maybe like one or two spin classes a week, and then probably like weightlifting once I find a trainer in Dallas that I like and I can like take you guys through that. I work out like completely for my mental health. If I'm not working out, I'm not motivated, I lose my mind, I have really bad brain fog. I already had bad brain fog, but um, it's like all the mental and emotional benefits. Um, and I'm just gonna make sure I'm like walking more because I feel like I will go to Pilates But other than that besides like taking the dogs out, I'm just not going I'm just not getting my steps in and I need to be getting my steps in So that's what that was about. I'm also on um, almost on season five already of Friday Night Lights and like I cannot believe it I need to buy a new rug today. My new furniture gets here next week um, I'm sending some offers over today. I have just lots going on I'm about to go into Pilates, ignore my screen, and get my car washed, I guess, but I'm listening to the Skinny Confidential. It's like this episode with a Texas oil man, so I'm truly living for it. 
I have, of course, my little coffee tumbler that's available. I'll have it linked below. We're going to Pilates after I might get myself some Starbucks. Guys, like, I don't know what's going on with me, but that I put on my lip pumping lip gloss. I must have, like, somehow gotten it on my neck. Not good. Anyways, I'm walking into Pilates. I have been loving getting a lot of, like, random computer work done in the mornings. Monday is typically all computer work and editing and stuff, so even when I get home, it's gonna be a cozy afternoon. It's raining. Feels good. All right, I'm out of the shower. I put on my hyaluronic acid from Inky List. Literally like $6 skincare, it's amazing. It is my favorite product. Then, sadly, well these are two, these two are my two favorite face products. That one is at a way lower price point. I'll start with the hyaluronic acid. It is, I, I wash my face with Curology. I'll still use like the nighttime and moisturizer. But I'll start with the hyaluronic acid and then I will put on at least summer Fridays Heavenly 16 all-in-one face oil. I'm all out of it. I repurchased this a few times on my own. I originally was sent it, but I bought it myself because I just like love the product. I'm vlogging because I wanted to show you guys the products that I've been using on my hair. I always brush my hair with a wet brush. My current favorite leave-in conditioner is The Way by Rado Leave-In Conditioner. It is just incredible and it smells so good also i use the way body products that i talk about in the podcast just now in my entire bathroom smells so good it's the melrose place scent i'll have it linked below i think i actually have a code for way as well i'm gonna make the emily mariko like famous salmon bowl quite literally six months later i still haven't made it um we're making it today okay i'm really excited to try this it's the hyaluronic acid hydrating hair treatment so it says that you just apply enough to thinly coat all of your hair. Oh. It's my first hair product. I'm really excited to see like how I like this. So it's really very hydrating for your hair. I hope I'm not putting like too much on. Um, but I guess we'll see. Anyways, I really love the Inky List. They're sold at Sephora, but they have the best prices on skincare and hair care, and it's incredible stuff. This is my working from home outfit of the afternoon. These sweats, like, let me show you this. These are samples for merch. I'm wearing the wrong size sweatshirt, but I want to say, like, look, these sweatpants in general could be so good if they just didn't have these thick pockets to where they make it weird. I mean, there is, like, a pocket, which I don't love, but, like, why is this always a thing with sweatpants? It is genuinely so annoying. The quality of this stuff, though, is incredible. Um, we've been sampling... Like, a, oh, <laughs> we've been sampling a ton of Rub Housewife. Housewipe. We have like two more drops for the year and they are the best. I don't even know which one's my favorite, but like the stuff is so good. Um, yeah. So anyways, I need to get downstairs, get to work, make my Emily Mariko bowl. Let me know if you guys are interested in like what I do throughout the day. I just never know like what you guys want me to talk about in vlogs or share. Like, is work stuff interesting? I literally just sit at my computer. Anyways, this Starbucks drink though, by the way, has been my go-to order. You guys can just screenshot it right here if you want. Um, it is so good. Or honestly, I'll make it a highlight on my Instagram. That'll be easier, because you guys, if you're in line. So if you're in line, you can just like go to my Instagram and see it in the highlight. It is so good. Oh my God. I'm hoping that I have a lot of editing to do, but I'm hoping that if I'm not editing, I can finish Friday Night Lights. I have like one season left. And I'm really, I'm dying. It's like even this, what do y'all think of this? Even as like a picnic blanket or something, I just think it's so cute. Like I said, so many samples these days. But anyways, I'm just throwing things everywhere. I'm currently cooking and WW just sent over a cookbook, which actually looks so good. Like that looks incredible. Some of my favorite things to make. Prep 15, cook 25. Like this is... Oh, <gasps> no way. Okay, that's my favorite meal. Anyways, they also sent me some candles. By the way, I have no idea what happened here. I hosted Valentine's Day, and the next morning, this was here, and I'm there's just nothing we can do, I'm sure, which sucks. But anyways, I'm really grateful for these new candles because I just live for candles. Like, right now, I have one burning, and I always do. Um, and it's just so nice to have. They're literally the best gift because they're something that's kind of annoying to buy for yourself all the time. Um, and they're just so nice to have on hand. Also, this cookbook just looks so good. I'm very excited. I kind of think this is supposed to be like really cold, but mine isn't. It's going to be okay. We have salmon. We have rice. I have these little seaweed snacks. 
And then also I got kimchi, which looks really good. And then we have some sriracha mayo. So I am so behind on this. All right, honestly, it looks really good. So I'm gonna eat this, watch Friday Night Lights, and then I have like probably four or five hours of editing. 6.30, I got all of my work done. I'm listening to Ed Milet right now. I'm actually gonna listen to Eli's podcast. She is my favorite influencer. I'm actually obsessed with her. Like, I think she is just the greatest person ever. But anyways, I just, I literally am obsessed with her. My closet is back to being messy. Um, actually, this stuff would take me quite literally 30 seconds to clean up, but I just cannot be bothered. This stuff, until I get this closet all fixed and redone and reorganized, it's just gonna be there for a sec. Or, you know what? I might order new U-line boxes so then I can put stuff downstairs. Because I do have things that I need to put downstairs. But anyways, I planned out my outfit for tomorrow. I'm so proud of myself. I want to get back to doing this so that, one, I wear cute outfits. And two, it just, like, takes away so much anxiety for me about the morning and just feeling rushed if I have my outfit picked out. Um, in the morning, I'm going to a Revlon event. And then I'm getting dinner with or lunch with Bria and Peyton. I love both of them so much. So I'm just, like, so glad that we're all in Dallas together. It's so nice. Like, obsessed with them but anyways i have this dress that i got from abercrombie it needs to be steamed will i steam it no of course i won't this blazer by the way is from zara i honestly haven't even talked just about this i want to make a blazer from the okine just because it is so hard to find the right blazer i actually really like this one this is definitely like the best black one i found but it is so hard to find a blazer that is good quality but it's also the right cut but it's not too big it's not too, you know what i mean like it's very difficult um, and then I'm gonna wear these Prada loafers. Yes, I was gonna wear a dress with cowboy boots again, but but I'm making myself wear these loafers. By the way, of expensive like purchases that I've made in the past few months, I would say that both of these pairs of shoes from Prada are definitely worth it. I, I wear them all the time, honestly, especially these. I wear these as well, I really like them and they're gonna look really cute with the clothes from the Okine. But unless I'm wearing cowboy boots, I'm wearing one of these two pairs of shoes or just sneakers in general, like the white ones from Nike that I just got. But I will say these shoes were both very, very worth it to me in really good designer purchases. If you guys want an entire video on like the best designer purchases I've made and the worst, I can let you guys know in, I can do a TikTok or a video on YouTube or whatever you guys think. But anyways, I have my outfit ready. Long story short, so I'm feeling good about that. I have to play because I have to My house feels so peaceful. I'm actually gonna take some CBD. I've been really liking these soft gels. My brother, I think, took my other stuff, but I do really like these soft gels. You just take it daily with food. I just ate, so I'm gonna have one of these. Like, this is the cutest thing in the world. Fits just move, but they, the, oh my gosh. They're just waiting for me for when I wanna get a bed. Are you guys ready? Are you ready, Fitz? Just look at him. I mean, he's perfect. They're getting baths tomorrow. It's gonna be so good. All right, I'm ready for bed. I'm hopefully, I want to finish the rest of this book. I have 50% left. We'll see if I do it. I need to send over like two things to a designer for some upcoming drops. Um, and then I'm off my phone. It is currently 8.21 p.m. and I will be off it for the rest of the night, which is really what I need. I love Monday nights because I spend them alone and it's just so Hi guys I'm gonna try out these Ilya Super serum at skin tints. I have two different Shades. I love this. This coffee order you have to get as a girl man. I went on a walk this morning. I got coffee. I walked back. I walked past an office. I just need to find an office space in Dallas. The problem is, not that any of you guys care about this. I need it for the oak kind, not for me. But the problem is, you need to sign a lease for like three to five years in one. That's such a commitment to make, like when you're starting a company. And we don't know how big it's gonna get. We don't know what size we're gonna need. We don't even know what we really need. 
besides like literal space for inventory so that's just like not even a possibility so we're trying to figure out like alternatives as of right now we're gonna do everything on my garage um as far as like shipping and stuff goes but i've been hearing great things about this people have been raving about Ilya, but i my face is paler than my body right now but oh my god that's really light okay I don't know. This is definitely too light. Okay, I actually really love it. It's really pretty on, but wow, would I really like it? It's too light. Maybe I'll stop at Sephora and get like a darker color today. Okay, I mean, I really like it, but I don't know. It's not like that light for my body right now. I can like wear bronzer, you know? I think it'll be okay. I don't know if I'm supposed to be putting it on like this, but I'm going to. Anyways, I listened to a podcast this morning and then I was listening to country music on my walk back. And I'm just trying to implement moments of peace throughout my day in the times that I feel very at ease and peaceful. I'm in this constant like struggle to where I want my life to feel like I live on a ranch. What I mean by that is just like feeling calm. Um, I'm naturally not a calm person. Wow, I really like this though, I will say. I'm naturally not a calm person, I'm just not, so it's kind of difficult. I'm pretty like high strung and I'm very like go, 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 I have to be doing something every hour, work, 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 whatever. Even if it doesn't seem that way, if I'm like at my house in sweats, I'm still like working and stuff, I don't know. I just like, I'm trying to fix that about myself. By the way, this color is actually perfect. What the heck? This product is incredible. I love it. Anyways, I'm trying to get better about that. So I'll talk to you guys in a second. I'm gonna get ready. I just got ready so fast. Here is my outfit of the day. Notice all the brown in the cowboy hat I got this weekend from Fort Worth. If you guys didn't see that vlog, go watch it. I love Fort Worth. Peyton told me she'll take me soon for a video. So I'm re- Oh, ow. <laughs> Dress is Abercrombie. It actually has like, like very puffy sleeves as you guys saw. Um, blazer is Zara, purse is Balenciaga, um, I don't know where these socks are from, but I'm wearing my Prada loafers. And here we go, I'm going to drop the dogs off at Pet Bar, which is where they get their baths. They're going weekly now because I have this membership, it's a really good deal. And then I'm going to a Revlon event in West Village, I'm meeting Peyton and Bria. So I'm very excited, I think I'm actually last minute doing a podcast today too. I'm supposed to go to spin tonight. We'll see, I have editing work to do, but. I am like, as much as I don't think that this is the best lip gloss ever, it's a drugstore, it's the L'Oreal Infallible Pro, can't talk, Pro Gloss Plump Lip Gloss. It doesn't plump, but you actually, like the color actually stays on your lips, so. All right, we're off. All right, guys, we're at Mi Casina. Look who's here, Peyton and Bria. Your hair looks insane. Um, I got a meal I never get. I'm, I'm making myself try new things. So it was freezing. I shouldn't have been wearing a dress. Um, I was just like really committed to the look, you know? 1.43, I might be recording. I don't know if I am or not. Um, I'm home now. I went to Mi Casina. Oh, I have so many emails. We went to the Revlon event in West Village, then Bria and I went to Sephora. I picked up two things. I was like very easily convinced by the girl working at Sephora, which I'm normally not that person, but she showed me and I was like, uh, this is what I need. It's the Rose Ink Skin Enhanced Lumina, Luminous Tinted Serum, which is like just like the Ilya stuff, which is what I like. Um, I got that and the brush with it, so I'm really excited because that's just always what I need, like something light and luminous. Then Peyton, Bria, and I went to Mi Casina, which I didn't really vlog. I don't know why I forgot. So I'm going to do emails, and then I need to edit the weekend of my life vlog. I might go to spend tonight. I haven't decided. I honestly just, like, need to get my life together. I got the video edited. I've actually been uploading randomly enough, like, YouTube shorts. Here's the weird thing about social media is that I don't know... Anyone who watches Instagram reels, like I don't watch them, but for whatever reason, they always perform well, and that's where I see growth. I've heard from a lot of people that YouTube shorts like don't do anything, but I've been seeing otherwise. I just like posted some, and then I'm also um, scheduling some out just to like try it for a week or so, see what happens. But right now, I'm just sending off the final emails of the day. 
Um, it's 4.20 now. I need to finish my Emily Mariko like salmon bowl. Kind of want to go to 5.30 spin. I have to leave in like 40 minutes or 6.30, but I kind of want to get it over with sooner rather than later. So I'll let you guys know. This is where I've been sitting and working recently and all day today. I just made the Emily Mariko bowl. I like smashed up avocado in it. It looks pretty gross, honestly. Like this does not look like how Emily, how Miss Emily Mariko makes it, but I promise you it's very good. Um, I'm gonna get ready in like 20 until then I'm watching Brooke's vlog. All right, I just changed. Look at my sock and shoe game. Incredible. We're gonna go to spin class. Um, I'm just wearing this set active set. This Mad Happy crew is from Mad Happy. Shoes are Prada, obviously like my normal stuff. I'm gonna leave in like 10 minutes probably. I know you guys probably all feel this way at work. Maybe, I don't know if it's a screen time thing or if it's like social media thing. But once I'm like just zoned in and like online and I think it's really a social media thing, I'll eventually, sometimes I'll just get like really anxious and I feel very anxious. So I'm really glad I'm going to spin class because going to spin class, you just like write it out and you're fine. My favorite spin studio in Dallas, by the way, is Class Studios, like by far. It is the only spin class I like as much as Soul Cycle, which is saying something because I'm a little bit of like a spin snob. Like I feel like I'm really picky about spin classes. Music obviously matters so much, but I'm honestly gonna take some CBD. Should you do that before a workout? I don't know. <laughs> Okay, I'm back from spin and my bathroom is absolutely ridiculous. This is the mission for tomorrow afternoon. I'm going to declutter this closet because I have just like so much stuff in here that's actually, like it just, it's so messy and that's so not me. Like I'm so organized. So I'm gonna go through, move these boxes, move this stuff over, organize it better, um, figure out like, my towel situation, get all of that just to be a lot better because like I have pool towels that I only use in the summer, things like that, that just, it all needs to be better. So that is on the agenda for tomorrow and then a lot of this product will go in my organization stuff in there. But I do have just like empties. Oh, you know what? We're gonna film an old school empties video. Two products that I've used up all the way, this Kapari um, body, like coconut body milk. It's incredible, I loved it. This Buff City Soap Shower Oil Oatmeal Honey. I don't even know how to describe this. It's like a true oil. It moisturizes your skin so well. Also, oatmeal honey just like reminds me of my childhood. Both of these were absolutely incredible. This, I think, gives you like a deeper, it's like a very nourishing product. Um, and then I just like anything from Kapari. Um, Billy Shaving Cream, I like it a lot. I love Billy. The only problem is I go through it really quick. Um, I have extra razors that I don't use because I always use my Billy ones or like men's razors. You know what, I actually don't have as much garbage in here as I thought, maybe. Oh, uh, maybe there's this. No, there's still some left. Uh... Okay, well, I don't have as much as I thought. But anyways, tomorrow we address this and I will feel so much better. All right, I showered. I did a little self tanner on my face. Um, I lathered my body, my buddy, my body in the way like cream body lotion stuff that Melrose Place set. It just makes my whole house or like upstairs smell so good. I know in the last vlog I was like organizing and decluttering my main closet, but I really need to just do this closet and that's a bigger project. So I'm so excited for that to be done because I don't know, like my anxiety is so much worse when there's clutter, when things are just organized and there's not too much stuff. I just feel at peace. All right, have my little nighttime setup. Smart Sweets, which are like truly my favorite. I have a nighttime tea right now. My journal, my Kindle, I'm gonna read tonight. I might watch Friday Night Lights, I think I'm gonna. I'm so hungry right now, oh my god. Well, we have another like winter weather advisory. You might be like, Kinsey, why were you in a dress yesterday? And that actually isn't even on Texas. That's actually just on me. It was so cold. I wish I would have vlogged more. Like, I don't know why I didn't vlog more with Bria. We should have done a Sephora haul. Like, what was I thinking? I have been really making it a point to meet up with other, like, Dallas creators. We're going to meet up with Sloane, Sloane Bird, if you guys follow her on Instagram or TikTok or anything like that. I've been just, like, really making it a point to meet up with other, like, Dallas creators or, like, entrepreneurs, whatever they are, who have a more, like, 
nonchalant. That's ice. You gotta stop that. People who don't have as traditional of jobs, oh my god. Just because it is one good for me to like actually go out and meet different people because on the weekends I'm just with my friends, the same people, 20, 30 people that I'm with, people that I'm with every single weekend. During the week, I'm trying to make it a point to see other people that do like weird jobs just because it's helpful. On one hand, living in Texas, it's so nice. It is so nice not living in this like influencer bubble world. Like there's a lot of pros of it. Um, but it's also just like nice to have people around you who do some really things. So anyways, I'm going to get up with Sloan. I'm making it a point to have like friend days throughout the week because if not, I don't see anyone besides who I see at Pilates. And when I go into like my workouts, that's my hour for me. And I really don't talk to people there, which is out of character. But anyways, um, we're going to White Rhino, which I actually really love. What is that noise? And then... All right, guys, here's my closet before. That's where the laundry basket is, but I'm doing laundry. This is just, like, not okay. Give me, give me 35 minutes, and this closet is going to be a new space. Guys, this took me legit 15 minutes. I move these up here, they're not the most um, organized. I know that, but like I'll actually see them, so it's fine. I move my boxes here, that's like office stuff, projector. All of my dirty clothes are right here, so ignore that. My Dyson box, obviously. I actually don't even know what this is. Oh, they're light bulbs for my rooftop, actually. Okay, well, we have like stuff that's hung up. These are dresses and like summer stuff that I'm not wearing right now. I haven't like already organized and like made everything look beautiful. My shoes, I need to go through and donate like majority of those. I have some stuff here. Um, it still like probably feels and looks really messy, but it feels like so much better and it's good enough for me in here because there's really just not much I even do in this closet besides like put my dirty clothes here, which those will go there and then I'll have like better shoe organization. It's fine, um, but that is what we have right now, guys. I just self-tanned. I look crazy. I'm pretty sure it's going to like hail again in like an hour. All of the like evening and night workout classes and things, I keep getting emails have canceled. I know like schools have already canceled. Anyways, I'm wearing all black because I self tanned. Um, I'm gonna look a little bit crazy for the rest of the day. I have a call with my lawyer in like 30 minutes and then just a bunch of like random stuff. I just sent emails. I have to like send a bunch of emails, edit, all of that stuff, so. All right, I've been working here. I ordered lunch because I was really hungry and I just had a lot to do and it's that was that was an hour, 45 minutes ago, and then I finally got an alert that the dasher has arrived. Like none of the bad weather has started yet, it's just cold. An hour, 45 minutes into the order as I'm waiting and I'm starving, they cancel it, so I hate my life. Anyways, um, maybe I'll just eat some cookie dough. I don't know, I've been working. I honestly just like want to sit on the couch. I'm gonna sit on the couch, watch Friday Night Lights, and I think I'm gonna go get Margs with a friend tonight. We've got Friday Night Lights on. I just made my first Home Chef meal. I mean, talk about perfect timing. It actually smells really good. And then we also have chicken that I'm gonna add to this like pasta. Cindy, like, she's like, okay, we can set a meal. Like the brands that were a lot bigger. People and brands that I really. Happy Thursday, everyone. My Pilates class has been canceled. I let myself sleep in a little bit. Last night, I went to Desert Racer and I got a frozen bar in 20 degree weather. I've been on calls all morning. We actually met with a like potential PR agency for the Okine. So I've been doing that. I made breakfast. I need to edit this week in my life vlog, which I think is what I'm gonna do now. And then I'm literally gonna spend the afternoon like making TikToks and just like having fun with stuff and just like having fun and working and whatever. Therapy, my Pilates class, I was gonna get lunch with my grandma, I had something else, everything got canceled so I actually have a lot more time. Days like this sometimes where I'm just like stuck at home and I'm like, well I have to edit and like make YouTube videos and things, like remind me of the days when I started my channel when I was like 16 and how it was just so exciting. And it still is really exciting but I feel like obviously when it just becomes your norm, you just get used to it. I am very excited, I'm gonna get that get that going. I'm probably gonna do 12, 3.30, I guess, tonight. I've been so good about being on my workout game. 
and i'll say i am meeting with like a personal trainer next week which is exciting because i do want to start like weightlifting almost so doing like pilates spin and weightlifting and then also like walking a lot that's just like when i feel the best um, my motivation from working out is solely from me feeling good so anyways i'm gonna edit and i'll see you guys in a few hours it is now nighttime. i'm kind of cleaning out my closet would you believe that i've already run out of room for my cowboy hats it's just crazy. Look at this one that I got for one of my girls' trips. Cute. Anyways, I guess that will do up there. This hat that I got from Fort Worth. My favorite cowboy hat that I have from Devin Carlson's collection. I'm going to be stacking like three cowboy hats in the airport. Anyways, I just wanted to have like a nice closet talk. Something that I did all growing up was plan out my outfits the night before and I just kind of stopped as I became like an adult Isn't it so crazy that I'm an adult like I own a house and my car and every like There's actually nothing more adult that I could do other than get married and have kids like there's li I own business like, There's nothing that I could do, but I still I still am I'm fake. I'm fake. I'm fake. I'm fake. I'm fake. I want to get back to like planning my outfits out the night before because it makes me feel a lot better. Today was a good day. Sat on my computer literally all day. I guess I'll wear this pink one. Sure. Um, do you guys have like, I have two full drawers of sets, probably like a hundred workout sets. There's a really big bug. No. I don't know what to do about that, so I'm just not gonna do anything. I'm just gonna pretend that it's not there. Like, can it just go away? If Dom was here, she would fully be having a panic attack, so at least she isn't here. Who misses Dom, you know? I do. Anyways, I looked away in the bug, so oh, there it is. There it is. Anyways, I was just thinking about my day, and I have just been working, a working gal, if you will, which is so boring to vlog. The upcoming vlogs, by the way, I went through and like planned them out because I just feel like the vlogs where I'm at home and I wake up, I literally go to Pilates, I come home, I work on my computer all day every day, which is like a lot of my life. They're getting boring, all right? So we have other things coming up, such as furniture shopping next week. And we also have furniture arriving, the whole new living room kind of reveal. Um, whoa, that light has been out for a while. It's still now, that's good. Um, actually, I don't think it's been out. That's the next one. Come back on, yeah, sure. That bug like can it just act like it's not like let's just you know also my photos came back from Heather from our shoe last week don't you dare go on my cowboy boot don't you dare go on one of my shoes go away have oh my god with this set my photos came back and they're really cute but it's so crazy because this week I feel like I've had so many like career affirming things happen and like career affirming things happen and felt just like on top of the world and like really confident and good about myself and like good about my career and where it's going and then the other part of me has been like i am nothing i've done nothing everything i do sucks it's not good enough blah 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 which obviously like hopefully isn't true but i just think that's also part of being in your 20s i hate to say it but i think that's probably just a like life thing Unfortunately, but I do think it's like a bigger issue when you're in your 20s and how I will have such high highs and feel so good And then I will have such low lows where I'll either like start comparing myself to like where I think I should be or Like playing down things that I've done making them be like I mean, it's not that big of a deal or like I did this but like someone else is something else is a bigger deal So therefore like what I did doesn't matter and that's just like not a good way to live life. And as I'm really, you know, reevaluating a lot of the ways that I even want to live my life in general, I'm like, that is not something I want to do. I want to like celebrate and be happy. And like, I'm proud of the community I've built on YouTube. Uh, it doesn't mean I have like the biggest community in the world, but I am proud of the community I've built on YouTube. Like it's a hard thing to do. I try it all the time. If you look at like everyone in the world who has started YouTube channels, Versus those who have like made careers out of it or like gained a following. It's pretty low. Like it's a hard thing to do. I think we look at all of the people who like blew up overnight and then you don't look at like, no, like you're doing a really good job and a lot of people, it's a really hard thing to do. Like 
having a channel of any size is a really big deal one because like it's a very like courageous thing to do making a youtube channel or doing any sort of career that's kind of out of the box i've been thinking about this a lot even more recently recently have i really sat back and thought one post posting my life online is actually a really weird thing to do like and also just kind of how it like messes with your psyche like i've just been doing it for so long i don't think anything of it and i love love what i do like, i love you guys so much i genuinely feel like we're all like best friends when i meet you guys in public it's so much fun when i meet you out i normally like hang out with you guys like it is just so much fun i really genuinely love it but it is really weird to like share your life on the internet for so many people to judge and have opinions of and like literally send death threats and like stupid stuff or make fun of how i talk or i mean whatever like the list goes on and on if you don't like me like that's fine i really don't care it really takes like a certain kind of person and then number two almost allowing myself to like be proud of myself because it really is a courageous thing to go outside of the box try a different career path like even starting a new company like taking a chance on myself consistently what are they doing i'm saying this after i've been so hard on myself all day but even having been able to one have the courage to make a youtube channel in the beginning in the first place because that was hard like people have a lot to say there are people who made fun of me like posted stupid snapchats from that i actually see like out and about and i have a few things to say about this so the first being i like live with the mentality of like big thinking versus small thinking and how i always want to be a big thinker and when i'm almost like a stopped where i have to make a decision i'm always thinking like is this a big thinker decision or is this like am i thinking in like a very small way a big thinker it makes everyone's world around them a bigger place or a better place so i love connecting people i love making people feel good about themselves or making them feel confident or like believing in them because i feel like i had that with my dad growing up and a lot of people don't have that or like would never take the chance on themselves small thinking is someone who's like insecure and makes fun of people who like do things you're never going to be talked about by people who are doing more than you so if you are making decisions out of fear or making decisions based off of what other people who literally will not matter five years from now are saying about you like don't do that whatever you do i, I was talking about this on instagram today but like everyone does care to a certain extent about how people view them or what they think of them i kind of like this closet talk guys this is like fun I, I still have to figure out what i'm wearing but um but i think the key is to, like not make decisions based off of that and then over time you have to decide what matters to you and like make your priorities and my priority is like what i think of myself which is why even career wise like i haven't done certain things that people have told me to do that would help my channel growth because at the end of the day i just know that like it's not me and i would feel better personally being true to myself than I would doing something to like then like gaining a certain follower count or whatever just because I like the pillar of my life is being authentic I didn't really realize that until recently there are obviously people like when you are doing something different who are gonna make fun of you who are gonna like post to you especially in high school like post you on snapchat I will say for the most part people were like really really cool and nice to me about it but there's definitely people who would post if there's a guy that I'm around like pretty frequently actually and I like him like I'm not even mad i think it's just like honestly really embarrassing on his end but also like like imagine being the person who makes fun of other people for doing what they want to do like that genuinely is embarrassing and also like just being so insecure but i will say i don't like fault those i don't really fault those people and i don't like, I do feel bad for them in the sense of, like, I would hate to be that insecure. And that sounds so condescending, but I genuinely mean that. Like, I think one of my favorite things about myself is how I believe in myself and I'm confident and I will do what I want to do. I would hate to feel like I have to make myself smaller to fit into a certain friend group to then get their approval for everything and not step out of the box and be who I want to be. I also, like, don't fault them. Like, people are, like, assholes sometimes or, like say things they don't mean or act out of insecurity and like the world is hard and like honestly like making youtube videos was is kind of like a weird thing to do not that i would ever make fun of someone for doing anything that they want to do but like i just don't care to like be mad about something i don't i just don't like care to hold something against someone or anything like that but just doing some reflecting of how i'm so grateful that i listened to myself and did what i wanted to do years ago and now it's just been like kind of a snowball effect of like slowly but surely taking like the right steps and i made a lot of wrong steps but overall like building a career that now i'm able to do so much more from and more more than that though like building the community that i've been able to build like i meet so many of you guys who have become friends 
through me or like following me which to me is the absolute coolest thing about my job like it, it's just my favorite thing ever um, anyways all day today i was really hard on myself and getting anxious and i was like i'm not doing enough i need to grow more i need to do this i need to get more views i need to like whatever and it's just like i feel like in the past year that's hit me more than it ever has before and i think it's because i've been a student up until the past like year and a half when i graduated college and now i'm like and for whatever reason that was kind of a safety net and now i'm like actually full-time full-time like career that's it even though i've always been full-time working it hasn't changed anything yeah anyways all that to say sometimes you feel like you are absolutely on top of the world and other times you feel like you are the absolute worst and doing nothing and sometimes it happens within the same five minutes so here you are you know anyways i have my outfit for tomorrow i'm gonna work out in the morning and then I'm gonna get ready. I have some meetings and then I have a hair appointment with my sister at 1.15. We actually FaceTime today. I feel like I haven't even seen my sister recently. This is gonna be a really good month. I have so much going on. I have a shoot for Bread Bunny Housewife. I have a shoot for the Okine. Fingers crossed, hopefully, if we like our samples next week. Um, I have two girls trips. I have a week trip to Nashville for recording. The girls are meeting me on that trip. My new furniture is coming. Like, the vlogs are gonna be very good. So I'm really excited. I also just think... I know that like no one really cares about like seeing me vlog with friends like you guys watch the channel because you watch me but it is difficult when like none of my friends hear that I'm with like most of the time film and for whatever reason I always forget to even film with like Peyton and Bria um and I have like nothing else to film like it was so much easier to vlog when Dom was here because I would just vlog everything and we had like conversations and I liked the vlogs a lot so yeah here we are hope you guys like the closet talk let me know um all right we are off I've been talking for 15 minutes this kombucha, by the way, is so freaking good. It's the best kombucha ever. I would love to do more, like, videos in my closet, styling outfits, or, like, showing you guys. That would be such a fun series, like, getting a glass of wine and styling my outfits for, like, the week and showing you guys, like, my favorite pieces in my wardrobe, things like that. Let me know. Kenzie's closet. Ah, genius. I got it. All right, well, let me know if you guys want to see... Good morning guys, it is 7. I was out the door by 7 a.m. And let me just tell you, that was the best thing in the world. I have Hip Hop Friday spin class, which I've decided is gonna be my Friday morning tradition. I used to go a lot actually at class studios. Anyways, I love it, Paige teaches it, great playlist. I'm probably gonna sound crazy, but the difference between a 45 minute class and a 55 minute class, that 10 minutes genuinely feels like an hour. So I just love it. Anyways, I'm gonna head in in about five minutes. I'm just sitting here drinking my coffee. That's my new thing in the morning. I like to just sit and drink my coffee and not talk, not look at, not say anything, not see anyone, just sit. Oh, I finished a new book last night. I say that and I keep talking. Um, London is the best city in America by Laura Dave. It was good. Like I think sometimes the way in which I read a book either makes it good or bad. Like if I read a book in two days i typically like it better and it sounds obvious but it's not necessarily because i like it that i'm reading it in two days i'm just reading more um i would give it like a three seven i do think it was sweet and i think if i was like in a better reading mood i probably would have liked it even more it was cute do i marry this person do i not kind of stories my white shirt then would have been like oh my god <laughs> difficulties. back in the car my hair uh it's had better days we're going to get it done right now ah so exciting I live in dallas my sister does my hair and she's the best she does a lot of people's hair um and if she wasn't the best i wouldn't go to her today not thinking we were going to change anything up and then my sister said my hair has gotten a lot thinner which i have naturally really thick hair so that makes me very sad um and she wasn't the one who did it recently so it like wasn't her fault but who even knows whose fault like, whatever but like it's just sad i like keep touching my hair because it got extensions and i was just getting them for like the fullness and now and then we ended up like keeping them a little bit longer this is what they look like. She specializes in like color and extensions. So I love it. I'm gonna love them more when they're curled. I just don't have time going 
to grab dinner with friends and I'm in a rush. But I hope you guys enjoyed this week in my life vlog. I love you guys so much. I'm so hungry, so I have to go, but I'll see you guys next week. Bye. I was afraid that if I evolved in my brand, the people who followed me wouldn't be interested. That's a part of it. Like me being able to evolve and move on from that trauma and to be happy, that's a part of the story.